Hi, I'm Maddie Harlan from Permaculture Magazine and I am at the National Permaculture Convergence and we are in Oxfordshire at the Hillhead Centre and I'm with Hugh Richards from Hello. Hugh's Nursery who is a author and video blogger and YouTube channel person. That's it. So first of all, tell us how you started in the very beginning. Well, gardening ways or YouTube ways? YouTube. Okay, so um, if you know anything about Midwest Wales, it's, well, not much happens there. And, uh, and my nearest neighbour is half a mile away. So when I was 12, um, my parents were getting a bit fed up of being my taxi, especially usually having some kind of sport event um, every, every day. So if I wanted to do other things, you know, I could, I could get a bit bored. And a friend of mine was making gaming videos and, and he had his phone and it was a terrible, terrible phone. It was about four pixels of quality and he was holding it and he was playing the game with another hand and he had about 200 views. And I was like, wow, 200 views? Because imagine 200 people in a room. All right, that's, how, that's how I think about it. Mm. So I thought, OK, what am I going to do? And I decided to start doing gardening videos because I had been doing it since since I was three and it was just kind of documenting things and they're absolutely terrible but it's just about getting started um, and then it grew and then when I was about 16 um, doing my GCSEs I was thinking well I had to start thinking about A-level options and um, and then with A-level options it's like what do you do at uni and I thought okay my YouTube channel is growing I'm going to do A-levels and then we'll try to do YouTube and, and gardening kind of full time for a year. So it's, it's kind of just, it grew as a, a, an accidental hobby out of not having enough time. Um, and then it, it's kind of grown into and morphed into a career. So tell me, first of all, tell our, our permaculture media uh, viewers, tell, tell us a little bit about your channel, what it does, mm -hmm. how many views you've had, yeah. that kind of stuff, just some of the stats and... Yeah, so, um, the channel, is, there's about 400 videos on it and um, it's all about organic gardening and and also permaculture growing and it's quite interesting because some people are like, oh yeah, raised beds aren't permaculture but it's always interesting to have those discussions and, and I believe it is because I'm applying a load of permaculture principles and I'm also learning so much every year about the soil and how important that is um, and it's amazing and um, and yeah, it's just trying to empower people. And so my YouTube channel has nearly 160,000 subscribers um, and over 20 million views. And, and in total, over 30 million views and a quarter of a million followers um, online, which is crazy because uh, people think you have to spend lots of money in advertising to, to reach those kind of numbers. But I've, I've paid no money to advertise um, the videos, which I think shows just how powerful it can be. Um, but yeah, I mean, Ideally, I'd be doing two videos a week, uh, but at the moment it's about one video every two weeks because um, lots of other things happening. Um, but it's just about picking something and thinking, do I think someone or people are going to get something from it? And then I have to always remind myself that, that there's people who are growing food from all stages. So no matter what video it is going to be, it's going to help someone. And even if, I don't know, 10,000 people watch that video, if it, if it helps one person and it means that their life has changed in, in the smallest but the best way possible, then for me it's a, it's a success. So there's loads of people out there that think possibly, well, you know, I've got something to share with the world, mm. I've got a message, I want to help more people do more positive yeah, yeah. stuff in the world, because that's the fundamentals of what you do. It's helping it is, yeah. people grow food, do stuff, that's really positive. Yeah. Um, what would be your, your top tips for anyone wanting to create content and get more views and just basically share their skills yeah. and their joy? I mean, we could turn that into hour long uh, video. Absolutely. <laughs> um, it could be quite interesting, maybe doing a three part series of videos for, for people interested in permaculture and, and how to get started, which we could maybe look at doing. But, but to keep it simple, it's about finding a, a passion and not setting really high standards or expectations because um, something which I said earlier in the talk is 
uh, that we did today together about reaching people with mainstream video is um, what I find amazing about the internet is say 20 years ago if you were one person who, who really liked knitting um, but the only person in your village then you'd feel a little bit isolated but the internet has allowed all those individuals of one person in every village to then connect with the millions of other villages around the world, not, not just in your country. Um, so the most important thing is just go for it and start with a smartphone. Just start very simple, don't worry about technical camera equ equipment and stuff because I always feel it's better to put something up than, than nothing at all because if you don't make that first step forward, you're never going to improve. And I think with everything, it's always that first step. Like public speaking, if you're behind the stage, if you don't take that first step, you're never going to deliver the rest of the speech. So it's just about being bold and just going for it. Um, and I think having a bit, a bit of a plan um, can help, but to also be flexible and just adapt and very often I'm in the garden and I'm just thinking what video am I going to do and then I just choose something there and then I don't think you need to worry about what it is it's just take the ideas which come to you and, and you're most excited about sharing because the internet is, is almost like a soil food web whereas, where there's collaboration between loads of different living beings um, and and the sharing of, of knowledge or, or nutrients. Um, so yeah, I think just starting small with a camera, trying to do something consistent. So if you can do a video a week, even if it is just in one take with your camera, just doing a tour of your garden, it's up there. And the great thing about making videos is that they stay up there unless you delete them. And in five years time, you can still be getting views from that video you made ages ago. So. The, the return on time investment uh, is huge in the long run. And for just really practical, if people are going to dedicate their time to this and it's, they need to have some kind of financial mm. return, mm. what kind of advice would you have for someone developing a channel that needs some kind of income flow and benefits yeah. coming in? So the first thing I'd... I'd uh, <laughs> What I'd say to begin with is you shouldn't start a YouTube channel with your main objective being making money mm. because you're, you're in it for the wrong reasons mm. and that's the reason why most people who start YouTube channels will qu quit within the first month because they're, they're like, oh, I haven't had a thousand views or something and they're like, what's the point? I've put some time in and, and people give up too easily. If you're passionate about it and you, you enjoy it, that's enough of a drive to carry on. And that's, that's how I started. I didn't even know you could make money online. I just started sharing information. And then with building the audience and everything, the money then comes in. So you need to think of it as almost building your own online portfolio or, or CV um, and a, as almost as a funnel, as a sales funnel for things that can happen later on in the future, whether it's courses or books. Um, but the, yeah, there's, there's then loads of different things. You can look at passive income, there are different models. You can look at, at Patreon, um, where people pay a bit every month to support you. Um, there's a great thing you should look at called A Thousand True Fans. Um, it's an online essay, I think, by a guy called Kevin Kelly. And it's about, you don't need millions of viewers. If you have a thousand true fans, or even less, you can make a living. And, and that's very attainable. Um, and, and it's just about, looking at other things so you can get money through um, adverts or, or say creating a, an online course um, there's probably about 10 different streams and for me once once I got the first stream I started looking at the others because it's about diversity and not putting all your eggs in one basket. Thanks very much to Hugh. I have to say at Permaculture Media he's been an advisor to us for the last couple of years at least and we've really appreciated his expertise and knowledge. Thanks. And also make sure you come to the Convergence next year. Yeah, do because it's good fun. <laughs> oh, and also get this. <laughs> yeah, and there's the last thing about fun. Yeah. We've got to have fun, haven't we? Exactly. Thank you. Thanks.